Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul and welcome to my channel, Tech and Travel, where today I'll be showing you guys how to set up Apple AirPlay on your new 2019 LG OLED. So, if you are fortunate enough to have one of the latest LG OLEDs, then um, if you do the recent update, you will be able to enable um, Apple AirPlay on your TV. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, if you've got a, an Apple device, say a Mac or iPhone, iPad, and you've got, say, films on there, you know, that you've downloaded through I, iMovie, or iTunes, uh, iTunes, sorry, um, then yeah, you can basically watch those films directly on your TV without the uh, need for a 4K Apple TV box. So, you know, even if it's 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, you can simply stream it from your iPad directly to your OLED TV, um, like I said, without the need of the box, so all good. Um, before we get into it, I just want to say a massive thanks to uh, the guys at box.go.uk for supplying me with this 65-inch C9 OLED for me to try out and uh, show you guys, you know, these little sort of tips and tricks and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, just general um, sort of tour around the TV. And also, if you guys want to see any more videos uh, to do with OLEDs, please check out my channel. I've got absolutely loads of them, you know, uh, loads of information you guys might find useful when setting up uh, a new TV or looking to buy one. So anyway, let's crack on with the video. Right then folks, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your software is uh, running the latest version. So the way to, to do that is uh, simply grab your remote and do a long press on the settings button. It's to bring up your main settings, then you want to go to general, then about this TV. And there at the top you should see your software version and you just simply press uh, check for updates and if it's not the latest one it will do the uh, the update for you and install it so once you've done that the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, get your remote again and press on the home button here so give that one press and that will bring up your home menu and you're going to simply want to go to home dashboard so look, click on that and with any luck you should have the airplay symbol there and uh, simply press on that and move on to the next step. Right so now we have got the uh, the airplay right, setup menu come up here and what you're going to want to do is go to airplay and home kit settings and set up home kit. Now once you've done that you see you'll get a QR code and a digital code to put in. Um, I'm going to do the QR code. So what you do is, if you say you've got an iPad like me, simply fire up the camera and then point the camera, if you watch now, at the TV, at that QR code. There you go, and it will come up, if it will focus, uh, open in home. And it's as simple as that. Um, so I'll click on that now and then just follow the uh, next simple instructions and we'll all be set up. There we go. It's uh, added the TV. Simple as that. I've not had to do anything. It's found all itself. And uh, there we have it. As you can see, we've got a confirmation on the TV. This TV is set up with HomeKit and it gives you the, uh, the TV model number. And uh, like I say, it's confirmed confirmed on the uh, the iPad as well. So what we do now is uh, maybe uh, try and stream a bit of uh, a film to the TV and uh, just confirm that it plays in 4K HDR and Dolby Vision. So let's crack on. Right then, so I've got my iPad with my uh, Apple TV app there, which has got all my movies that I've downloaded from Apple. The TV is playing just regular TV there. So what I'll do now is just press on the app to bring up all the, uh, the movies I've purchased. And let's try uh, a bit of 4K Dolby Vision. So we'll try 2001 Space Odyssey. Uh, as you can see there, 4K Dolby Vision. So with any luck, when we do stream it, it should come up in this corner here, so confirming it's Dolby Vision. 
Uh, just warn you guys now, I can't really show much of the movie at all or any of the sound from it, because otherwise if I do, the whole uh, video of mine will get pulled due to copyright reasons. So you have to excuse me if I don't show much of the film at all. So I will press play and just show it running on my iPad. So there we go, there's the film running there. And we'll simply go down to the bottom and press on the AirPlay button. And this will bring up the list of devices that we can stream to. And we're gonna click on the one for the TV. And then with any luck, it should beam to the TV. Will it come up and give us confirmation? Yep, there we go, Dolby Vision. And there is the film, that's as much as I dare show. Right, so uh, moving on, what I think we'll do now is find a non-Dolby Vision film. So we just try something that's just regular HDR. So let's have a look through the list here and see what we've got. Um, not too sure what's just HDR on there. Uh, let's have a look. Right, about Terminator 2 maybe. Uh, yeah, just 4K HDR on that. So again, we'll do the same as last time, see if it uh, pops up in the corner. Just got a screen saver on it at the moment, so you can see it's not playing any film there. So if I press play on here now, any luck should start playing on the iPad. There we go. And let's go down to the bottom and press on the AirPlay symbol. And again, we get the uh, the menu come up of available um, devices that you can connect to. I've got a couple of like speakers there. Obviously, that we uh, cast over the uh, image, obviously. Um, but so we're going to go to the TV, click on that, and with any luck, again, we should have that logo for just HDR come up in that corner. So let's press on that. It uh, says it's connected now. Got a spinning symbol there. There we go, confirmation, HDR, and there is Arnie. So yeah, that's all worked perfectly fine. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can actually control um, the movie itself. One is by your regular LG remote control. So you've got your play and pause at the bottom there. So if I just press pause there now, as you can see, it's paused, look how clear that is. Doesn't that look clear? Anyway. Um, press play and then you've got your timeline where you can use your your uh, directional buttons to fast forward and rewind nice and simple like that or if you haven't got the remote to hand what you can do is maybe if you've got your iPad or a uh, iPhone you can use that to control it so you've got your volume there as you can hear turn that down quickly but I'll just get that up on the screen again there see me going up and down with it I won't leave that up again copyright reasons and yeah you can just literally drag on the timeline and drag it along to wherever you want and that will uh, move it along to uh, the point you selected so uh, yeah you've got a couple of options there and that's the uh, the joy of the uh, airplay I suppose so there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. And whilst we're on the subject of subscribers, I just wanna say a massive thanks to all the new and old subscribers for sticking with the channel and joining the channel um, because we're now up to, well, over three and a half thousand subscribers. It has gone up massive, massively over the last couple of weeks. So really, really do appreciate it. And you know, even all the viewers who have not subscribed, you know, thanks very much for just tuning in and watching the content. Um, again, I've got to say a massive thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for supplying me with this 65-inch C9 to test out for you guys. Unfortunately, it's got to go back soon, and I will miss this TV. But um, I've been talking with the guys down there, and they're looking at sending me some more TVs in the future. So check out their uh, link in the description. Go and see what TVs they've got. 
and maybe you know drop a comment down saying what you'd like to see me unbox maybe you know i'm willing to do what you guys want to see me unbox um i've got a couple of ideas uh, that i've talked about so yeah it all seems uh it's all good for more content in the future for you guys so anyway um once again thanks very much for joining me and hopefully i'll catch you guys on the next one bye for now